Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create this glowing liquid gradient text animation from scratch without using any plugin. So make sure to watch till the end because you'll learn lots of useful tips and tricks. And before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it text holder and set its size to a 16 by nine ratio and duration to 10 seconds. Then press okay. After that, select the text tool and write your desired text. So I will write gradient. Then center align the text using the align panel. Now go under the text properties Click on Animate and select Tracking. Create a keyframe on tracking amount. Drag this keyframe to three seconds. Then set the tracking amount to 40 at the beginning. Now, select this keyframe and press F9 to easy ease it. Adjust the graph handles like this. Now, make a new solid layer. Call it Noise Map. And apply the Fractal Noise effect on it. Set the Fractal Type to Max. At the beginning, set the Contrast value to 60. Create a keyframe on Contrast. Then go to 3 seconds and set the contrast to 550. Now go under the transform section and set the scale to 180. Apply fast box blur on this solid layer. Set its blur radius to 14. Then apply levels. and adjust the input level handles like this. Now the noise should look like this. Apply Turbulent Displace Effect. Set its amount to 150 and size to around eight. Now for the random animation, hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for random seed. Type the expression, time multiply 10. At the end, apply fast box blur again and set the blur radius to eight. Now comes the main part. Change the blending mode of this solid layer to stencil luma. You'll get something like this. I think the contrast amount should actually be 40 or 30 at the beginning to get better blending. Now go to the project panel and create a new composition. Call it main composition. Drag and drop the text holder composition into it. Create a new adjustment layer and apply the colorama effect. Under input phase, change it from none to alpha. Then go under output cycle. Now you can adjust the colors however you want using the color wheel. But for now, we'll use the sunset preset from the list. To make the text white, click on the endpoint of the color cycle and select white color. We'll get something like this. To add glow, I'll use the Deep Glow plugin because it gives better results. But if you don't have this plugin, you can use the default glow effect. Go under the input options and set threshold to 98. 
Then, at one second and 15 frames, create keyframes for radius and amount. Now go one second ahead and set both values to zero. This gives us a smooth fading glow animation. Now, select all layers, press Ctrl plus, Shift plus C to pre-compose it. Call it color adjustment. Then, right-click on the pre-composed layer and choose Enable Time Remapping. Go to 3 seconds and 15 frames and create a keyframe. Then at 5 seconds, copy the first keyframe and paste it here. Now, make a new adjustment layer and apply the transform effect. Create a keyframe on scale at 3 seconds. At the beginning of the animation, set the scale to 140. Press F9 to easy ease the keyframe and adjust the graph handles like this. You'll now get this amazing burning style zoom animation. Now, if you want to change the text, just go into the text holder composition, double click on the text layer, and type your new text. The animation will update automatically. And if you want to change the color of the animation, go inside the color adjustment composition, click on the colorama effect, go to output cycle, and adjust the color bar however you like, or simply choose a new preset from the list and make the endpoint white or any other color you prefer. And this is how you can make this glowing, burning type animation. If you learned something new in this tutorial, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps, and make sure you don't miss any future tutorials. You can get access to this project file and many others by becoming a member on my Ko-fi page. Link is in the description. Your support helps me keep creating and sharing valuable content. See you in the next tutorial.